All right, so this is part four of the tutorial on how to create this little flip card interaction. So if we preview what we have, uh, we've got our card that comes in. I can click on this selected state. I can click it deselects, right? So I can always have that. When I'm ready to go on, I hit continue. The way that works is the card animates in. There's a trigger that just says pause the timeline when the animation completes. I have a selected state on each card. So that's pretty simple. And then the continue button just says to resume the timeline. So it's really one card that has a trigger to pause the timeline. And then this button just always continues the timeline. So anytime the timeline's paused, I just click on the continue button. And this is just a selected state. So I can go through and have as many cards as I want to. So I could duplicate those cards and create 500 cards like this and make quick flip card knowledge check interactions if I want to. Now the challenge is how do I update all this content on the card. So coming, coming into the card, if there's only two or three cards, it's probably not a big deal. But if I go into the card and I go into states, I have to go into states and edit this. And then I have to go into the selected state and edit that. And so it's just a lot of um, work that I have to do. I'm going to show you a simple way to edit the cards, uh, at least the text part of it. So let's go ahead and do this. So we've got our cards. We've got um, four cards it looks like on here, right? So one, two, three, four. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to File. We're going to use the Translation feature. We're going to export that. And we're going to save that as a Word doc here. So let's go ahead and hit Save. Now that's going to open up Word. And so we can see the all the text for the Flipkart interaction. So you can see I actually have a typo in here. So we're going to fix that here. But um, what I have is, uh, if we go to the card that we created, so there's the continue and restart buttons, right? And then here's our, uh, here's the front of the card, here's the note card, here's the front of the card, here's the note card. So this is card one, card one, card one, two, card two, card three. So let's go ahead and we're just going to change the text rule. Here's the front of card one, here's the note card for one, uh, two, two, Three, three. Let's go ahead and add some lorem ipsum text. So I have some placeholder text we can put in here. So we'll say this is the front of card four, um, and then we'll just paste in that lorem ipsum text that I have. So a lot of extra text. So there we go. What we're going to do now is we're going to save this. All right. I'm going to close this out. And let's go ahead and import that in and see what happens. So we're going to go to File, Translation. We're going to do Import. And here's our tutorial demo that we just did. So let's go ahead and open that. And it's going to import all that text we just changed. And so let's see what that looks like. So it says everything looks good. And we can see it's already got some text in here. So let's go ahead and preview this slide and see what we have. So here's the front of card one. You can see the text changed. Card two, card two, uh, card three, card three, and then card four is where we added that lorem ipsum text, right? And so you can see all that text is in there, or the fake text. So you can see how that works. Really super easy. So create the card. Create that one card. You can make it as nice as you'd like to, right? Make it visually attractive. But the uh, interaction is pretty simple. It's just a card with the pause trigger animation or pause uh, timeline animation or pause the slide timeline, right? And then you have a resume timeline button, and that's basically it. And then you just have to duplicate those cards, and you can have them come on and off the screen, and you can create hundreds of cards. So, a really simple interaction to build, and a really powerful one to be able to use.